A beloved West Valley community activist has died from complications of COVID-19. She was fully vaccinated and was active in promoting COVID vaccination in her community. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live with the story. Nicole. 65 year old Linda Cutright helped organize several COVID vaccination events and was out on the streets trying to get people in the community to get the shots. Sadly, Linda became a breakthrough case and she did not survive. According to state data, Arizona reported nearly 27,000 new COVID cases and 549 COVID deaths. That's just been within these past seven days. She had a two shots. She was encouraging everybody to get their two shots, especially African-American and, and, uh, and uh, Hispanic person. Linda Cutright did everything she could to prevent getting COVID, and she passionately promoted COVID vaccination events, her Facebook page showing her efforts. She spearheaded uh, the uh, vaccination events along with others. Uh, she did about four of them in, in Avondale, get your area. Unfortunately, Linda became a COVID breakthrough case. State health officials say nearly 30% of new COVID cases in the month of October were breakthrough cases. According to AZDHS, of the nearly 3.9 million Arizonans that are currently fully vaccinated, there are more than 79,000 breakthrough cases. Of those, 608 people have died. Her brother says Linda was a force in the West Valley, not only a staunch supporter of COVID vaccinations, but she was also a community college instructor and civil rights leader. People would come to her with all their issues and she would take it to the, the, the police chief, she'd take it to the mayor, she'd take it to the city manager. And um, she, I would think her legacy would be to helping others to have a voice. And a scholarship fund for students at Estrella Mountain Community College has been set up in Linda Cutright's honor. If you'd like to make a donation, we have a link to that website on our own website, fox10phoenix.com. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.